What's up Geeks and Gamers, my name is Draymond and welcome to Thorium Gaming and it's time to hop back into the Retribution, our attempts to unite all the ancient Dwarf Kingdoms. We're coming up on the end of our valiant efforts, Dwarves own the mountains for pretty much everywhere and we are starting to land in Lustria, so it'll be good, it'll be good. Now, the Throne of Decay did just drop with a new Empire Legendary Lord, Malachi Malachi's son for the Dwarves, which would be awesome in this campaign, but we can't bring him in uh, right now. I uh, wonder if he'll show up in the unit in the hero browser here. Oh yeah, we have uh, Gargam Iron Fist, the new Slayer hero, which is pretty cool. Malachi Malachi Sun is in there, of course. And then we have a bunch of new things, like there are the Spirit of Grungi, and new Slayer heroes, and a bunch of other cool things. And apparently we can get a Yoked Carnosaur, which is nice. But we also got Long Drawn Slayer Pirates and other cool things. I wonder if we're able to incorporate them into the campaign right now. Uh, we will take a look at that, of course. Uh, I should not have entered or exited the unit in the spell browser. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play around with this. I downloaded the expansion and everything else before I started recording today. I mean, we got Doom Seekers now, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we'll have some stuff that'll help us out. Now, Nurgle himself, if I can find him on here. Two new legendary lords are involved here. We've got uh, Tamurkin, the Maggot Lord, and there was another one that got dropped in as well. I believe it was Epididymus, Epididymus which is great. So there's probably going to be a whole bunch more Nurgle-themed units. And for the Empire, if I can find it in here, the Empire, we have the... Elspeth von Draken, legendary lady, who is uh, a amethyst wizard on the back of a damn dragon. But we have also got engineer heroes now, which is uh, something new. Haven't had a chance to play with them yet. We might see them pop up. Uh, probably some more war machines and other things are going to pop in as well. So it should be good, and we will continue on. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to go over to our buildings and see if we are actually able to pop out some of those new units because we might be able to play around with them while we're going through this um all right so the dragon slayer we finally have dragon slayers yes a new hero type is from the slayer shrine which is great and our doom seekers come up from uh the advancement which we're getting right now that's gonna be good we'll be able to get some slayer or dragon slayer heroes we're gonna pop one onto the map for sure see what they do and have some fun with them we are also going to look into the Thunder Barge, which is awesome. We got Gyro Bombers, but they're the next one. They're basically a giant airship. Um, the Long Drawn Pirates, I'm not sure what they come off of, though. Uh, Grudge Raker Thunderers, which is brand new. Okay. Um, where are we looking for... Normal Slayers? Ah, Slayer Pirates. There we go. They're from the Slayer Shrine as well. So a lot of Slayer stuff has come in be able to do that not too long from now let's see if we can actually get new no dragon slayers there um next turn we'll be able to add some in we'll see how that works out now niklaus let's get into the actual gameplay and we'll see where we're going from there we could go towards the awakening but we kind of want niklaus to sit and chill and regain of some of his troops uh he is 20 out of 20 so we're not too worried there john f has just taken the marks of the old ones, and we can't really move too far with him, so that's fine. We'll get rid of that. I think we were at the end of a turn last time. So we'll let the other nations go and see how it plays out. I'm going to try and incorporate a lot of the new units in here. We might see a few of them come up. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work out, but we're going to figure out what we can what do. Brings you before the, air the Jade Court. Uh, join war against Hexwaddle. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Um, I think that we're either going to do a Nurgleite playthrough or some form of Chaos playthrough for the Total War World Domination Scheme. I'm not sure what we're going to do there. We could do a Valkyrie of the Bloody playthrough because she's one of my favorite characters in Warhammer Fantasy. Still tough. But one of the next series that's going to be on the horizon is probably going to be a Cyberpunk one. Um... Also still working on the podcast and the tabletop stuff, so we will see how it works as we go. Alright, so we've got lots done. Quest issued. The Adventures of Gotrek and Felix. Uh, win the following battle with Beligar Ironhammer, which is fine. Garrigan Iron Fist, the War Mourner's Retinue. 
Okay, uh, that's new. So I guess he's summoned much like that one Zinchian hero is summoned. So, Niklaus, we're going to leave there for now. Let us begin. And we're going to send John F. down this direction. To see if we can claim Southern Lustria. Fight. I'm not averse to trading settlements back and forth. Like, um, Oyuxel is not necessarily a place that we can take right now. But if we claim a few more of these, the Southern Sentinels is what we're moving towards. Okay, so we're completing quests that I didn't even know we had, which is good. But he's got his very good units. And do we have the ability to recruit that relig re yeah, regiment of renown? No, we don't. Uh, we were working. Oh, it's clans and guilds. They've split it so that the technology tree is a little bit different. Um, let's get Dwarven Grimms, because this is all going to be new. So we'll be looking at some new uh, abilities and new research to go along with it. Edis and Belagar can go that way. Arimanius, that's RK on the Ever Chosen. Let's see if you can assassinate his hero. That would be great. Nope. Did not succeed there. Garagrim. Garagrim Iron Fist. We have the legendary Slayer himself. What Death is his... Deathblow is good. Deathblow is uh, a new passive ability. Oh yeah. As they get hurt, they get better. So... Edis Stoneheart or Belagar Iron Hammer. Let's throw Slayer it in with Edis. Alright, so that's the new all. hero type. Let's march. And I believe this is the last of the major stuff that we got to do I'm for here. Ready. Now, Nathas, we off. get you going up. Time for a reckoning. Glippius, we'll get you oh. moving up. The high king. And our high king, the we will send in past. and take this city. Chaos Breaker for Glypius, and this is our Rune Lord on a Great Anvil, so that's good. Our Engineer's got a little bit of a facelift, it looks like. We'll get some more triangulation there. Everything is looking pretty good. Floating Mountain, I think, is their last one. Scum of Grungni. Oh. Yes, they only have the one last place, so if we take it next turn, that'd be good. Grudge is incurred. Okay, so it actually, our grudge system is different, and the Age of Reckoning is different as well. So our grudge, our book of grudges, great book of grudges, legendary grudges, legendary lords, and grudges settled. Age of Reckoning, except Elgi, as these special mercenaries to the grudge settler units panel. Okay, so the way we get special units and stuff is different now. We're just going to have to kind of play through it. Now, Grimaldus, you should be able to take the Volany pretty easily. What would think? Pyrrhic victory, but you wouldn't lose... Well, you'd lose some Dragon Slayers. But I'm actually okay with that. So, let's just get you to take it and see what we can do here. Now, I want a Slayer Shrine for the lack of corruption. And maybe to get us a hero, because it's not going to take too long. Now, we have separate buildings here. The Tinker's Den is all your aircraft plus the Master Engineers, and this is all of your siege equipment. And this has been broken down. So they've split up our Thunderers and our other buildings. So we're going to get all of those. We're going to get Smithy, and we're going to get a Siege Workshop. We're just going to build this place up. We have lots of money. We're able to do it pretty yes. easily. It is time. And there are a bunch of new skills for our lords. Alright, we're actually going to go that way. Because that's better. So the whole trees have been 
altered again. So we're going to have to look at that as we go along. Now, without the uh, dwarves being all yeah. hunky-dory, yes. oh, we'll just have to look at it as we go. Arimanias, yeah, they've got a whole new tree added in for the dwarves, which is good because they've needed that for a while. Uh, we're going to go with the Fell-Handed Warrior, which helps us out a lot. And Pup Proudbeard, are you actually Let going to be able to take this. care of these Savage Orcs finally? They've had 32 grudges incurred. Well. And we'll knock it out. I'm going to have to figure out how the whole grudge system works. Uh, again, it is a little bit tough for me because I don't have access to my rig the entire time. But with the Dim Suns gone, we can start looking to dealing with the Plague Bearers down in the south. Summon me if you dare. And we're going to go Rune Warden Armor for him too. And we still have some upgrades available that we're going to try and pop in here as we go along. And we're going to see how everything's working out. And let's look at our what? deals, if there's anything that we can do offhand. <laughs> Wardens of the Living Pool are at war with no one. I uh, kind of don't want Defender to because we might have to fight them. By the Grand Fear speak. Nothing that we really want to do. So we'll just let the other nations go and see how it works out. Hopefully for the best. I am Belagar, true king of the eight peaks. All right, so they've ended their non-aggression pact with us. We might have to split our forces a little bit while we're taking Southern Lustria. Not exactly ideal, but we can always build up another army group and send it down there as well. But we're quickly coming towards our total victory. I want to see what the whole eras thing is, because I think we've completed them for the dwarves. Age of Reckoning. I haven't done any of that, so you kind of put us in pretty advanced. See how it works, and if there's any upgrades or anything that we gotta do. So let's look at the everything in here. Thane's Authority, all that's good. Grand Throne Chamber is nice. Let's do income from all buildings. I'll have to look at it. I guess this is because the Dwarven Tree was just a little bit too hard to read, which, you know, fair. Uh, we can't even get up to Cairo's Fate Weaver. You are full feathers. Vestus the Leech Lord is up there with Ariman. Now, Anger we're willing to sacrifice run. all of these to kind of advance, so we're going to keep sending Aren't armies up vengeance. here. Now, building browser, is there something special for the Underway Network that we haven't been hold yet. Is there even a page for that? I don't know. But what we can do is we can look into getting a lord up here. I will go with Ancestral Blood Valea, but we'll get the new guy. Ironically, I do not have to rename this lord. We're going to take a look. We're going to get Merot Mountain, Inspiring Presence, Full Plate Armor, and a few other things. Grudges to Settle is going to be good. Lots in here that's actually really good. Aura of Endurance. Wow. Yeah, we're going to go with Aura of Endurance for Yosef. And we'll get Brass Lunged. Rune of Grimnir. Stitsony. We got three more to spend. So we're going to go with Axe Lord, Scarred Veteran, and Pure Beard. And then we're going to get him some good units. We'll get him a. Uh, Five units of hammers. He's going to go full hammers. We could get him some Doom Seekers, which would be nice. We're going to go with our Quarlers with great weapons. Now leave us one open slot to get him. Oh, we got a Goblin Hewer now, which is the giant axe thrower that we got before, but we will deal with um, cannons for right now. So two turns. We got lots to do there. We'll get him some specialist units. Now, Emmy. We'll get you fell handed warrior because your skills got kind of reset. Retake the realms to war. 
Forwards. And we're going to advance all of our Dwarven Lords up this pass. Uh, Glypius and Nathas can take care of that. Aye. I think we're going to take Thogrim. Uh, maybe not. I think, yeah, we don't get into any tough fights until, like, the Fortress of Eyes and shit. So, Thogrim, we're going to... We can't pop you into Encamp Stance just yet, but we can pop you out, put well. you into Encamp Stance, and advance you up. Uh, now, Grimaldus, we only have the one unit there. Let's go to recruit units locally. Let's get you some Dwarf Warriors with great weapons. That'll take you there. And the Klaus will let you stay that. That's and now Arimanius. He will die by my axe. Failed on the Assassinate, which doesn't help us. And I. Pup Proudbeard. We are going to get you to actually go into your rush stance. Get you back down to the south. We're going to see about taking care of all of this out here. Is there anything that we can do on our quick deals that will Darkness help us comes. out? I am the, the nation. True savages. Well, if we knock out the Dolgan, we can start going up into the Chaos Wastes from the eastern side. Be a lot of forces coming in there. We know where uh, RK on the Ever Chosen is. We don't have the 8500 needed to upgrade Carrick 8 Peaks. Could get the Slayer Shrine here, or we could get... You know, I'm actually tempted to get the Slayer Shrine. Yeah, let's, let's go with the Slayer Shrine for Carrick 8 Peaks, and we'll upgrade this. On the turn, we'll go to Carrick 8 Peaks first, and get it the major thing, because we have lots of money coming in. I'm just hoping the AI doesn't get too screwed up with all the additions, but we will figure it out as we go. Lots of time, lots of fun. We'll see as we push through. We're pretty close to getting to where I can consider this playthrough complete. Um, so, not too worried. It does come down to the fact that I might want us to do an Empire playthrough for our Take Over the World, which would both suck and not suck. That's a massive blow to the forces of chaos. Only true vengeance will make me. And when we do the take over the world thing, we're gonna be focusing much more on our troops, our lords, and going through it. I know I said that last time, we focused a little bit more on it this time. Um, I'll try to have a uh... Oh, cool. That tells you why you get them. Alright, so first Karakay Peaks. Let's advance you all the way to the top. Be done with you. Iron Breakers are now with the third level of your smithy, which is neat. So we'll have to go in and do a total overhaul of everything that we're doing. Can you actually make it? You cannot make it, so we'll just set you there. Alright, Master of the Forge, not... Yeah, attack and leadership, physical resistance. Let's go with Runes of Valea. We get Runic Improvement. We get Rune Master. Wrath and Ruin. That'll be good for that one. Now our Rune Smith here. Runic Imbument. Learned Intuition. Accomplished Rune Smithing. Good as gold. Now for Garagrim Iron Fist. Ooh, replenish troops for dwarves. That is good. Determined Death Blow. Nice. Uh, so yeah, they just get better and better as they go along. What? So let's advance this dwarven army up Heading as close out. as it can get. Now he took on Archeon, so yeah, he has got a ton of stuff. Chaos Breaker, yeah. What? So if we pop you back you into your. Mind. Regular stance, we can take care of Doom. Occupy that. And now we can just go along and start rebuilding Karak Doom. We'll want a Slayer Shrine for sure. Uh, I don't remember 
offhand if Carrick Doom was one of the places that had a bunch of other things in it. Slow the winds, which is good for him. Not paying too, too much attention to what we're giving them, because this playthrough is literally getting to the end. Um, let's check what our victory condition, our total victory condition uh, would be. We're halfway there for all of that, so it's not too, too bad. Let's us uh, move our rune lord up. Send me to vengeance. Ready. And we'll get you sapper? No, we'll get increased mobility. So that'll help out. One rug. I have been enjoying place. playing the dwarves, Ready? and I'm going to have to do some playthroughs on my own when I have the time and ability. It's not exactly uh, copacetic right now for me to be doing much for extended playthroughs outside of when you guys are with me, so we'll just have to worry about it then. Although, I am hoping that we get the... Continent of end in soon enough. Would be very nice. Okay, so the grud his grudges got changed up too. Um, Room Warden armor, mastercrafted weapon, and aura of endurance. Yeah, we're gonna want those. Be good. Uh, Emmy, we're going to get you unfaltering. Because more hit points is more gooder. Yes. Our Rune Lord. My anger burns bright. Yeah, we'll get Runes of Leia. Because one of the problems dwarves yeah, have had on extended campaigns, especially cool. for certain ones, is, well, I'm talking about Grommardal, of course, that you would end up with armies that would have to stop for turn after turn to replenish, kind of like what's happening over here. Now, I'm guessing those Dragon Slayers are going to be the counter to that. Summon me if you dare. Now, Niklaus, we do have the ability to pop in here and then go for the Blood Swamps All on the next right. turn. So we'll do that for you. All right. You've got one more turn on some Quarrelers, and then we'll send you into the middle. To war. Our Runesmith here will get Runic Empowerment. Do we even need to leave this? Let us begin. Uh, increased mobility. Definitely help. Aye. Denneth Redbeard. Bell-handed warrior, of course. What? Ancestral might for all of our ghosts, and we got a couple more elsewhere. Uh, but Joneth, we are going to get uh -huh. you to take your forces towards the Mangrove Ready Coast. Uh, you are taking attrition. By the Grudge Bearer's will. Let's get you out of there. We'll do underway transportation afterwards. Oh, now, Sparks, we're not at war with Kislev, which is good. We were going to go after... I so. Yes. The Orcs and Goblins, because he is moving up to the north, which is definitely good for us. Now, Pup, we can get you to scream on down to the south here. Now, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Do we get a new rune? We get a Demon Slayer as a lord. I was hoping for this. Oh, this is nice. So we can actually do full Slayer armies now. I think at Carrick Eight Peaks, we are going to summon ourselves a Slayer Lord and get him a full-on Slayer army. Demon Slayer. Now, hoping it didn't crash. It did not. They do find us here. All right, Distinguished Slayer. We're going to get Route Marcher and Inspiring Pleasance. Presence. Uh... Tapestry of Oaths, so his Slayers are going to be up. Ritualistic Scarring, again, for Slayers. Slayers to me, which would be great. Extremely Daring Death Blow is going to be good. Army of One, causes fear, causes terror. Demons be damned, yes. Demons Bane, yes. Death Wish, yes. Blade Master, hard to hit. And Rune of Grimnir. That's, That's going to be sorted. great. Now, let's go in here and see what we can get you for Slayers. This Karak Peaks actually doesn't have his first level yet, so he's going to be sitting here. Crag of Zorn, it'll be fine. He'll be fine. It'll be great. Now, Taya Halfhand. I don't know if that army would be able to take that. I 
I mean, the forces of Nurgle are kind of pressed upon. So maybe we send Taya to do that while Pup comes in on his own. Let's upgrade this. An outpost is available for Iron Brew's expedition. Yeah, why not? We'll construct it at the Lost Plateau. Which is fine. We have another outpost available at Kerkadrin. We'll set that there. Nice to Kalidor. We will upgrade our there. Construct an outpost there. And there. And we're good. We don't have enough cash to do the rest of them. Be nice though. We are seeing all the units from the tabletop coming in. Well, let's let the other nations go and see how we're looking. Uh, nice little bit of water today instead of my usual uh, Dr. Pepper, but that's fine. Trying to limit my sugar a little bit. But, and I have not been succeeding. Alright, so Niklaus, you're gonna lose one set of long beards. But you're gonna slaughter a Lizardman army, which is fine. We can go in and take a city. You'll be good. You can reinforce. Our expedition's been doing pretty good in Lustria so far, and I'm not too worried about it right now. We'll have to get back to the times where we're fighting tooth and nail for everything that we need, though, and it's going to be great. I'm going to have to sit down and literally go in and... Ooh, armor of Destiny. I always like that army. Armor. The ward save is great. We'll have to figure out the army that we're going to do our complete world takeover playthrough with. Oh, a lot of these require Oath Gold now. Let's do Slayer Oath, because we're going to get some more Slayers coming up here. Uh, one of the big things, though, is let's go to the Forge. Let's see if there's any more weapons. Elf Brain, Bane, and Starbreaker. Yeah, can we... No, we've, we're still short on some... Uh... Oath Gold. Wow, Brain. Kind of stalled there. Um, it doesn't look like the Forge has changed too much. Pelagar, can you reach the Pillar of Skulls? You probably can. The king's punish, the Let's get you to assault the garrison. Uh, Edis. Casting the rules. We're going to send you here. And Pelagar, we're going to send you up there. Alright, the Pillar of Skulls, well, it's got an animal store. Well, that's pretty good. Over here, we've got Thogrim Grudge Bearer. So the Plains of uh, Zabajin is not good for us. Most of this is still Chaos Wastes. Now, one of the fun things I like to do while I'm doing all this sort of stuff is I remember that this was a place that we had to split off when we did a Chaos playthrough. We did, I did. And it's always like that. Now we're really coming back up and taking all these mountains back. Floating mountain, all this sort of stuff. More and more trade resources. It's not going to be good if we just go charging out there willy-nilly. So let's put you into encamp stance and we'll advance you along this way. If you can slip in, take care of the last of the Chaos Dwarves and the Puppets of Misrule and their minions down here, that will give our allies the breathing room they need. What's down here? Oh! Chaos Dwarves. Interesting. Um, and we still haven't unlocked the Continent of Ind yet, which is that continent we just ghosted over. It's like right here. All these mountains. Which kind of sucks. Uh, Niklaus, let's get you prestigious descendants, grudges to settle, get you that back in. You've got immortality, Barakvar handshake, sounds like a good idea. Our Thane has immortality now, and we're going to get you minus cooldown for your rune abilities. Now it's our Thane, not our uh, other one. Onward. What is the defensive garrison at the Awakening? 
something that you can take the Klaus. Because I'd rather take the Awakening if I can. Hopefully that just didn't put the Klaus in a place where we're going to lose him. Summon me if you dare. For the wisdom of Valaya. All right, so that's that. Let's get everybody here up. Uh, let's get Sapper done. A lot of things are getting affecting a lot more units now too. Hopefully, it hasn't uh, broken too much for us. Now, Niklaus has 19 units. Lots of hammers are hurt. get you one more set of units there that's a lot of skinks I think we'll be able to handle it with a little bit of help from the garrison hopefully we haven't just sent the Klaus to another place where he's gonna get wounded John F can go take the mangrove coast It's taking the Let lines to the begin. south. Hasn't been able to get the next mentor one yet. Go rune warded armor. Doesn't really matter what we're taking on these armies right now. Oh, he can get more increased mobility. That's actually better. I say that and immediately have to take it back. All right, so sparks. Grimgore's army can't be that good. Pup, let's get you booking it down towards the south. And Greenbeard, we're going to get you to get as close as you can over to here to take the Blood Swamps. See what's up there. And Thea. Let's siege this and see if we can do anything about it until Pup gets here. For the reckoning. Now we got another lord that we're building up here in Yosef. Alright, so he's got five and five. Let's look at his specialist units. Let's get another cannon going, because that'll be good. And then what can we do for some special units to help him out? Uh, Anti-large. They're both anti-large. Oh, Ask for a dwarf. Unbreakable. It's really good. I don't want to hold him up for three turns, is the thing. So we can grab a couple more artillery pieces. That'll take him to 15. For the wisdom of Valaya. We'll grab a tough thing. Own your skills, Dally. Uh, Keeper of the Gate is one of the abilities for those. We have hammers. We'll go Keeper of the Gate. There we go. So and we can get another hero here. We get a runesmith. The runes are ready. We'll do hardened armor. There we go. And you're going to join in and gain Harden Armor. It is time. Just don't get in my way. And you don't have the ability to bring out a lot of Slayers yet. But what we are going to do is we're going to go with... Oh, that's expensive as all hell. We might just wait until the next turn to start these up because you can't get any Slayers. It's one more turn. Doom chase. Yes, for the Slayer Shrine. And we're going to save everything else, except for the outpost. Let's just construct it for the Cult of Sigmar, because it doesn't really matter. And we'll let the other nations go and see how it goes. Got a couple more turns left in this week. 
close victory. We'll take it. Krakadrak is now under Kieselbite control, which not ideal, but is what it is. And with the forces of chaos being driven off the world, we're good. By my hammer, I should slay you where you stand. Wow, Archaon the Ever Chosen is suing for peace. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna wipe you out. We're gonna take all of the dwarven lands up in the north, and we are gonna remove chaos from this world. Or at least we'll see how it comes to the end of this. The orcs and goblins are gone. Slayer Oath is up. Let's look at this right now. Let's do Slayer's Onslaught because we got one guy that's gonna go for it. Now, Crag of Zorn. Get you four units of Slayers. Four units of Slayers. Slayer Pirates. We'll start you on two units of Doom Seekers, and then next turn we'll get you doing more. Alright, Belagar Iron Hammer. Your army, we're going to get you to come up this way. My anger burns bright. Edis, we're going to get you to take this one. Occupy it. So we've been taking a uh, place a turn, so we should be getting theoretically close to dealing a full-on victory, like a total war victory, which would be good. Let's not spend too much money right now. Armanius. Let's go up here. Let's march. I agree. I don't know if you can get. No, you Go cannot get in there in one turn. Move. So let's get you Aye. back to an encamp stance. We'll go next turn. Move. Master of Runecraft. All right, there's our armies. How many places do these guys have left? They have seven for the war host of the apocalypse. The decadent host is up there. Puppets of misrule are getting decimated. All the forces of chaos are almost done. Maldis, if we go back to normal stance, you should be able to make the Fortress of Eyes. Occupy that, take that over, and have some fun there. And now the Stone Sky, whatever it is, this place. Stone Sky Foothills. Let us begin. Grudges to settle. We'll be able to basically march through these guys. I don't know what they've got in that army, but it's Norska, so it's not too good. All right, Niklaus, you managed to keep holding on to this area, which was good. I don't want you going after Cho Lee just yet. You're kind of hurt. So we're going to move Greenbeard Draxlayer to take the Blood Swamps. For the wisdom of Valea. We're going to give you War of Endurance, because that'll be fine. To war. Now, Niklaus, yeah, you're just going to sit and chill. The but Awakening's not got much. Way. It does have the ability to pump out Longbeards, which would be good. Too, too worried. Well, let's go down to John Eth. I don't know if we Dying started or ended reckoning. with him. We're going to push towards the Citadel of Dusk, take it out, and then we'll work back up this way. The Southern Sentinels I'm not too, too worried about right now. They're all pretty good fortifications. My axe thirsts for war. Summon me if you dare. You've got one more in here that for the wisdom of Valea. has to level up. Sparks will level you up a couple of times. Prince of Valea is good. Alright, so the Garrison Lord has not moved. It's Niklaus. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, Grimaldus has moved this turn, which is fine. Pup, let's get you booking it down towards the coast. Because you're almost in a position to hit the, yes. the seas. Fight. 
Still a Valiant defeat here. If we take Dreadrock out, it shouldn't be too much to consider pushing in there. Now, Sparks, we've had a lot going on with you. We're going to get you to go to an encampment so, stance. Right. Pull you over here, and then you'll either go out on the water or on the underway next turn. Let's get all of these starting to get leveled up. Lots of resources to bring in. The more we can trade, the better off we're going to be. And let's just check our diplomacy while we've got a quick sec. See if there's any quick deals that can be done. The great orthodoxy backstairs. Yeah, we're fine with that. It is night. You don't really have much in the way of anything to do with... Champion of the lady. Oh, we want you a defensive alliance with Karun. I shall. And we get a military alliance with them as well, so that's Done. definitely good. I am now. And we'll let the other nations go. I could have upgraded another thing, but that's fine. An outpost is what I was thinking of. There's only 56 nations left from the like 290 plus that we started this adventure with. We're going to be doing even more because there's going to be more heroes in the next playthrough. So, true king. All right, tic tac toes not wanting to be nice, but we can send some forces down there. Pyrrhic victory here. Fighting with the lizardmen down in the jungles. I know, it's a bit of a uh, twist. We might be able to get where we wanted to be for the end of this. I mean, our total victory conditions is 100, we're at 108 out of 272, but we've almost got all of the mountains back in control. If we can do that, I'd be I'm laughing. Away. By my hammer, it will be done. The monolith of Bonicus, done. Lord of the Angron. I'm almost wanting them to try and attack us there. Uh, Alright, Monius, let's get you so something in here. We'll get you unfaltering, which is nice. Fulfill my dringy oath. And a success there helps us out. Looking down here. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Come on. I suppose so. Alright, so we are looking at claiming a whole bunch of the islands. If we use the underway and pop over here, we can take that next turn, which will keep that under our control. Uh, Thogrim, where you are right now. Destroy them! We'll just get you to encircle it so you can get some, uh, we'll continue Wipe the siege. The and bring Glypius up to game? help you. Occupy it. To war. We're just gonna straight up turn it into a dwarf stronghold. And let's get you Aura of Endurance. And our Thane over here can get Inherited Arms. Good on you, Emmy. Uh, Glypius yes. gained some levels, or at least his Engineer did. Lord of Clan Morgrim! Fung me! Alright, we might have uh, made a mistake there. We're gonna lose a few troops to attrition, but that's fine. We'll keep moving to the west. Once we have claimed the last of this mountain range, if we can do it this week, we'll just call it a campaign victory and we'll laugh. But I don't know if we can. We got a couple more turns left. Maybe one more turn. Not sure. We're kind of running short on time. So let's just do this. And then I will figure out what we're going to be doing for the next 
Total War playthrough, because I always want one of these on the channel. I enjoy playing this game a lot. I'm not very good at it, well, overall, but it is one of my favorite games to play, and so I want it to keep going while we're doing things. Now, Niklaus, are they in the water? They look like they're in the water. Can we get you My axe for war. over Ready. there? Then we can go after Talax. Onward. Jonath Drakbeard. No Citadel no of Dusk awaits. We can take that. We can start moving back up the coastline. This is one of the elven colonies right here. Which is good. Elven colony! for a major achievement. Uh, I don't even think I have right now. I've never been playing as the elves and managed to get all of the elven colonies. We could do a campaign where we play as the high elves to reclaim all of the ancient elf holds. On to glory for the ancestors. I would be okay doing that. Now, Greenbeard, there is not a lot of places that you can go there. My grudges will be settled. Even with your underwear commands. movement. Wow. Well, we'll just have to push in a little bit there. Uh, Yosef, Stronghold. You've got a lot of hammers, a lot of quarrelers, a lot of artillery pieces. And you've got your two heroes, which is good. Uh, Buckman's Rangers would be great, but... I think what we're going to do is just have you start marching. Let us be Get about you up there. This. Unassigned skill points on Jonathan Drakbeard. Prestigious Descendant sounds like a good one. On his Runesmith, we're going to go with Accomplished Runesmithing. And his Master Engineer, we're going to get the last point in Overseer. That's going to be good. Uh, Thea Halfhand, we're going to get Aura of Endurance, because that's going to be good. How are we looking on this siege? In fact, it's a close victory. Well, we'll take it. Turn this into a Dwarven Stronghold off shore. Time for a reckoning. Taya, we will get you uh, hard to hit. Sounds like good. Uh, you've got a lot of Slayers, but we can get some Warriors in there for you too. And then Pup will be here shortly, and you both can push after Kugath Plaguefather. Uh, we don't want to worry about those. Let's see if I can push for the campaign victory for this episode or not. It'll be tough. Uh, if we can get all of the uh, mountain ranges. Uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. We don't have our armies in position to fight Hexwaddle. But we are definitely coming down to the nitty gritty of this particular playthrough. The Retribution should be done pretty soon. I mean, the dwarves own most everything. Look at this big glorious blue splotch on the map. It's great. We are the largest faction, I believe. Let's look for sure. We are strength rank one. And if we look at all the other strength ranks, there's no one even really close to us. The Western Provinces is and Etain. But we are strongest by far. So we might be able to call it a campaign with this. It'll allow me to get back into seeing what all of the new units and new tricks do. So, but let's make sure that we can do it. Uh, I wanted to get all the way up to the Writhing Fortress, and that would be the mountain range claimed. We've got a lord going that way. So let's just pop Belagar out here. We will go, and we will call it a campaign victory. We'll go block this bridge. You'll advance this way. You'll gain the Rune of Grimnir. Thogrim, get you to pop out of your little stronghold. Go to a camp stance with Blippi following close behind. Moving. Take that. So we'll occupy it. What do you want? Runelord. I'm down ready. At this point, there's not really anything that can stop us from taking over the whole world. We just gotta get these the Bleeding Spire and the Writhing Fortress and a couple other things, and we'll call it done. If you dare. 
Bring them. Now let's go down here and see what happens when Grimaldus goes to Dragon's Crossroad. Decisive victory. Grimaldus is wiping out this area by himself. I'm so glad that we got Demon Slayers, though. My Especially as a Lord choice, too. That's actually kind of inspired. Let's put a Ranger's Barracks there. That'll be good. What? Let us Grimaldus, begin. we can be Lord of the Deeps right now, because we can. And we'll give you Ear of the Council. Your Runesmith. Cleanse Corruption sounds good. Because we won't need both of those now that i figured out. Hey, they only work one way. Uh, Niklaus. Can we get you to assault Talax? So we'll encircle that. Joneth, we're going to get you to book it as hard as you can over to here. Then we'll get you to use your underway movement to get back on the other side of the mountains, and then back again, and then back again. It's fine. Sparks, you're in position here. Take this out. At this point, it's pretty much clean up. So Pup will sail the ocean in his ironclad. Okay, we've got a couple of armies there. We're actually going to put you back into there, and that'll be good. Lord has not moved as Yosef. Forwards. Unassigned skill what points. Sparks has got one, so let's do protective wards on him. None of his troops had any. Armanius, let's see about assassinating. Can't do an assassination there, but let's keep you up on there. None of this matters. Making 23,000 coin per turn. Where was that when we needed early game, right? I am Belaga, true king of the, the Great Orthodoxy. Yeah, we'll take a military alliance with you. Pretty much all of the forces of order are allied and pushing towards the same goal. I think this is going to be the last turn of the campaign. Pyrrhic victory here. We'll take the Pyrrhic victory. Occupy. I think we're actually going to say that's... That, that's the world settled. None of the forces that are left, even the Warriors of Chaos, can do anything to really build up. The Dwarves will just sweep them aside, and all the nations will be good. Let's look at the Forces of Order to make sure, just 100%. We have the Elves on Ulthuan, and Ulthuan is under Elvish control, so Ulthuan is clear. We don't want to really fight the Lizardmen in Lethstria, but Forces of Order all occupy down here. We don't know what's happening up in Hagrief and the entire Northlands. That's fine. Uh, all the Dwarves' mountain holds are under our control. The Southlands are under Imperial control, Elven control, Cathay, the Empire, and Bretonia. The rest is just the last few tribes and dregs up in here. And we've got a few Dark Elves. So, that's actually where we're going to call this Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was nice to have the last little spot of life in the newest update. I'm going to be playing around with that when I can sometime this week. And I will see if I can get in mind what we're going to do for our... We're going to conquer the entire globe battlefront report which will be good we'll be sending forces all across the world all at once and we'll be fighting a lot more of the battles personally i know i say that every time but we're going to do it that way so if you like the video guys please consider hitting that like button if you'd like to join up with the 232 join me in let's plays in the future just hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video goes out and remember guys life is a game so play to win and until next time take care